Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Mike. I am finally back with yet another video. And, um, <clears throat> yes, it is finally time. I do have a shoe unboxing video for you guys. And it's been a very, very long time. And, uh, in my last video, I did tell you guys that I did have one coming. And, uh, yeah, just happy to have these. These are such a nice shoe. And if you guys are new here, like, subscribe. It'll be very well appreciated for my videos. Uh, I do haul videos. I do shoe unboxing videos. It's just ma mainly all fashion stuff. Uh, I used to do, like, um, Fortnite stuff, call, like, Call of Duty stuff uh, a few years back, but I don't do that anymore. But other than that, um, they get a new pair of shoes. I'm very excited. Uh, let me just get straight into it, show you guys what I'm talking about. So I did get these in last night. Here's the box. You guys probably already know what these are from the box. Very, very cool box. On the sizing tag, Blazer Mid Ready Made collab. Colorway is black, total orange, vast gray, size 11 and a half for a retail of 160. Is that so? Open the box. Have some cool paper. Uh, just get these out real quick. Extra laces in like a volt color. Boom. This is it. So nothing else is in the box except for these. And the laces that it comes with, but I'm gonna keep it how it is right here. Forget that. Goat sticker, usual. And this is the first time I've gotten this from Goat. It's pretty pretty new. Uh, I do like this. It's cooler than the, the than the little white one, but just so you can see, everything is punched out. Everything is okay. Everything's good to go. All legit here. Pretty cool. But <clears throat> here's the shoe. Ever since I've seen pictures of these way back when, like when they first released, I knew I had to get my hands on these. But these are just insane. They have. This color, they have a, a white color, or a white colorway, and apparently they have a, like a friends and family colorway, which is like a gray, but this is still the best one. These are clean in pictures and even cleaner in person, so let me just get straight into it. On the side panels, you have like a, like a plastic type feeling to it. That's probably what it is, it's like a, I don't even know if it's a, like a synthetic plastic or just a plastic, but it's like a soft bendable plastic and like this cool like light black color like a vintage black if that could work out um on the toe right here it's like this like kind of like wool material it kind of feels like a like the inside of a couch or something it's really soft and has like a, this cool texture to it but it feels like some type of wool or some type of like trash that was made into a, some type of material but that's pretty cool <clears throat> and uh, on the toe box, you have this cool, like, D DIY, like, plastic, soft, like, little toe box, which I really like. I'm glad it's not, like, a perfect, like, sh like dip or whatever you want to call it, but pretty cool. <clears throat> then the best part of the shoe is this swoosh right here. It goes all the way around, and there's only stitching on certain parts of it, as you can see. From here, goes up to here, connects here. This is, like you can move this, and it's not connected and stitching here. Same on the other side, pretty cool. But down here, it's, it's, this feels like a like a new buck or something like that. Some type of like, it's not like a suede, but it's like a really, it's probably like a new buck. That's the best comparison I can give it. On the laces, you have three different laces I've heard. You have this under, underlying one, which is the main lacing system, which has the gray and white laces. Then you have these thicker white ones that only go up right here on the halfway point. And then you have these two volt little strings. 
I don't know what they're exactly for, but they're just cool. Um, on the tongue, see your Nike logo with your RE right there for ready-made. Also have your camo, like your gray camo print all around the top, around the ankle, and then the toe box, which is like surrounded by like some type of screen mesh type of material. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, on the back, you have your ready-made logo with the Nikes, with the Nike swooshes on it, and the uh, shape of like a recycling logo, which I think is such a cool touch on here. And uh, also, on the heel cap, it feels like some type of cardboard, to be honest, or some type of like box. It really feels like a cardboard box. It's got like that type of texture to it, but... Yeah, I don't know if you can hear, but it's hard. It's got some type of built-in little stability back there. On the sole, you see you have this like cool bubbled, puffed out look around the whole outsole, which I really think is dope. It really gives the shoe a cool, unique look. And the shoe is also very, very similar to the other one. Other the the left shoe has this as well really really cool and then on the bottom you have like your i don't even know what what to call it but i'm just gonna call it like a recycled look to it it's got all this different all these different colors on there and kind of just looks like plastic and trash and a whole bunch of other stuff is just mashed into it and combined into like a rubber outsole and just put onto the bottom of this which is really cool it's such a unique look I mean, you're really not going to see it, but I still think it's awesome. But, I almost forgot the insole. The inside is lined with like this, like, feels like a, some type of, almost feels like a suede. You probably can't even see it, but, yeah, you can't really see it. It feels like a suede, but it's like a black suede, new buck type. Really soft. The insole is white with the ready-made logo on the heel that's about it on the inside um as you can see on the back the pull tab is black i don't know if you guys can read that but that's pretty cool i'm gonna read it for you guys nike sport shoes are manufactured to the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world the nike name and swoosh stripe are your guarantee of quality made in china that's pretty, pretty dope. Such a cool touch. And then, as you can see, you have your little, like, uh, what's it called? Exposed. It's not mesh, but uh, I, I, I'm drawing a blank right now. I don't want to sit here for 30 seconds trying to think of it, but you can see it's exposed. Kind of like how the uh, off-whites are with the exposed little, like, um... It's not, I, don't, I, don't, I, want, I want to call it mesh, but it's not mesh, but you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's about the shoe right here. I think it's really clean. Um, if you want to get your pair, you can probably get them for around 300 That's the last I've seen that the prices are going for, at least for my sizes, that is. Um, lower sizes might be going for less because that's normally how it works. Uh, bigger sizes normally uh, resell for more. That's that's just how that's just how it works. That's the sad part, but here it is, the Nike Blazer Ready Made collab. Do you guys think this is the the sneaker of the year, or you still still not sure? If you guys cop the pair, let me know. Tell me what you think about them. If you guys uh, want to get a pair and you have any questions for me, if you're skeptical, maybe sizing, uh, if they're too expensive for you, possibly. Uh, if you're if you're thinking about getting them. Let me know your thoughts down below. But in my opinion, if you want these, I pulled the trigger. I don't think prices are going to drop that much lower, in my opinion, because they've already dropped from what they originally were uh, down to three, around three, three twenty, at least for my sizing. But I think these are really dope. If you have a unique style, which I think I like to, I think I have, I think these are for you. If you're more of like a simple person, I wouldn't recommend these because 
I mean, I mean, you could pull off the pull off the uh, simple look, but I still think these are for people that really have a wide variety of a, of a wardrobe and can pull off some crazy stuff like this. But other than that, this is my unboxing for the Nike Ready Made blazer in the black colorway. Um, I'll try to get to the on feet video out for you guys, which will probably be maybe sometime next week or whenever I can manage to get it out. If you're new here. Or if you have any questions, don't be afraid to let me know. I'm always on. I'm always checking. Uh, appreciate all the love. One more look at it. The shoe, pretty dope. I can't get over it, but yeah. If you guys haven't, you can follow me on Instagram. Same as my YouTube username. Just check me out. I post on there all the time because, you know, I, I love my clothes. I'm always posting my, my outfits on there. Same, uh, my, my Twitter is the same as well. Same name, same username. Any questions for me? Uh, sizing on these, um, I, I also forgot to mention sizing. Uh, probably true to size. If you have a narrow foot, you probably could go down half a size. Uh, I'm, I'm a size 11 and a half, 12. I got these in 11 and a half, and they fit perfect. I like my shoes a little bit loose, uh, especially blazers, because they blazers can tend to be uh, like really tight, uh, and they have a weird fit because it's an older shoe, but... I think it is an 11 and a half. They do fit me pretty nice. I probably could have went with an 11 if I wanted like a more snug fit, but I think 11 and a half is perfect. 12 would have been too big, but yeah, here it is. Uh, subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate all your love, all your support. Um, be on the lookout for within the next two to three weeks, uh, possibly of my my next uh, clothing haul, which would be number eight, believe it or not. And uh, yeah. I really appreciate the love, support. Until next time, peace.